I do not think what she's doing is sweet. I think it's selfish and totally about her obsession with geese. She's an amazing woman. I actually had the privilege of getting to know her uh, many years ago when we used to have a large number of domestic geese that would just get dumped everywhere in Marin. I think when it, when it comes to the use of scarce resources, a community's rights should come first. To appropriate natural habitat for a personal whim, a hobby, a pet, I think is a really uh, offensive abuse of the natural environment that does belong to all of us. I'm Sigrid Bohm. I'm a retired person. Hobby, uh, my geese, and I take care of them every day. These geese mean everything to me, so Mother Goose is the right name. I started saving geese in 1989. I have liked birds from childhood on, and birds have always been my favorite animals. And when I came in touch with geese, I fell for them. And I love them more than any other bird. I put a lot of money in this goose operation, more than I want to admit, and a lot of time, yes. Well, it's very possible that people don't understand what I'm doing and why am I doing it and why am I spending that much money. It's very possible, but uh, I don't really discuss that. I just do it because I feel this is my mission. My name is Sandy Goldman. I'm president of Friends of Corte Madera Creek Watershed. We're a group active in uh, trying to improve and preserve habitat in the watershed. Basically, she has taken her pets and placed them in what should be an area used by wildlife. So it's as if you took your horse and had it grazing in the lawn at Creekside Park. I think it's a much, much greater need to protect natural habitat, which has been so devastated, over basically the hobby of an individual. I think Seagree truly uh, is a mother goose in spirit. These, these geese love her. I've actually had her come to the auditorium here with one of her famous geese named Mario and I've seen them in the car with her, and they're connected to her in a, what we call a human-animal bond that is really unbreakable and it's really admirable. So for that reason, I, I really do think that she should always be in a place where she can have geese with her and near her. I think when it, when it comes to the use of scarce resources, a community's rights should come first. So in my case, I would say that I'm the one who has the rights, uh, not the, the community, because the community doesn't participate in any way whatsoever to take care of the geese. I think it's important to look at animal issues in light of how communities change over time. And as those things change and as community values for these things change, that's where we get into these dynamics of who, who gets to win. They have absolutely mowed the native vegetation here. And they're saying they're eating the native species, the, um, the, the plants. Again, geese eat grass and grain. They don't eat native species. But people say that in order to have a reason for me to move the geese. People who live in the condos have found many nests with, with that eggs from her geese in them. So she does not fully meet that 
that obligation to completely stop their reproduction. Have I known about geese making nests? Definitely. And that is the main reason why I built this aviary here, because we do not want to increase the population. Uh, I believe the property changed hands and the new landlord said, get your geese out of here. Which I would certainly have done if I had been the landlord. <laughs> You know, this is really insulting when they say anything that this is selfishness for me to take care of the geese. Somebody has to do that. Otherwise, these geese will die, you know? And what I'm doing is just feeding them, take them to the vet, give them medication, trying to get them well again. What's so selfish about that? By virtue of Sigrid being involved in the first place, she's actually limiting the number of geese populating. In other words, if we didn't have Sigrid out there handling the domestic geese front, there'd be three to four or five times more geese out there destroying the landscape and reproducing, having eggs and young geese to, to raise. I think Sigrid has been successful for many years in trying to find locations and work with people to ensure that you know she'll do things the right way. And for every person that doesn't like the geese for whatever reason, there's two or three other people that love the geese. The geese do not interfere with community rights, no. There are a lot of people in the community who were very much in favor of the geese and who encouraged me to continue doing what I'm doing. There are always both sides of the story. And I would say the majority of the people enjoyed the geese while a few of them complained. And I think the person who takes care of the geese is the person who has the rights.